To start off this video, I'd like to say that in this little corner of the internet, there's a lot of discourse about not doxing people and not sharing information until it becomes public knowledge. And I fully support that. Anything that you see on today's video is a public post with public comments shared online from a public social media account. So with that being said, let's talk about the new alleged girl in Amberlynn's life, Alexis. Sorry, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Oh my god. For months now, Amber Lynn has been posting teasers on her Instagram stories about a new little bestie that she has online and uh, this best friend that she just seems to be so interested in. She won't name who she's talking about, but like simultaneously, she just so happens to be showing up in the comment sections of this Alexis girl. Now, who found Alexis' socials? Like, who figured this out? I don't know, man. I'm sure there's an answer that somebody could maybe like drop in the comments below. But all I know is we know she exists now. And although I've been hesitant to talk about this woman, even though it's all public information, she hasn't been named by Amber Lynn herself. That is until now. Today, I will be reacting to Amber Lynn's newest video titled, Let's Talk About My Dating Life. Who is Alexis? And before we get started, I will get you up to speed on like some of her past couple of videos where she kept hinting at her dating life. And to be completely honest with you guys, I haven't had anything to say up until now because her content is becoming largely unwatchable. Um, it's hard enough to watch, let alone to comment on. And I don't want to be putting out videos where I have nothing to say just to get views. It just seems like a waste of both of our time. All of her current antics and trolling have been done like 50 times over at this point. So it's all becoming like old hat for lack of a better term. But now that she's named Alexis, I'll bite. So last week she uploaded a video where she said this. So there is someone in my life that I would say is special um in that way we're not in a relationship though so calm down but i have been friends with this person since september and we have become really good friends and like the whole time crushing on each other but we asked each other to be each other's valentines so that was like a cute thingy so i'm gonna be referring to her as my valentine because i'm not gonna say her name just out of respect but she is one of my very best friends but we like I was gonna say low key like each other, but it's high key at this point. Her saying this wasn't anything shocking. This is something that she has been hinting at for months now at this point. Even as far back as early December, she was saying that if she was to marry her best friend, she would be the happiest person in the world. And then a couple weeks ago saying that she's just talking to one person romantically exactly how she likes it. So I was on the phone with her. And we were just talking about my Legos and I mentioned a Lego just like, you know, randomly a Lego that I'm interested in because we literally just talk about everything and Legos is a very popular topic because I'm obsessed. I mentioned, yeah, there's like this Lego. It's like hundreds of dollars though. So I'm not going to like get it anytime soon, but it's definitely going to be the next one that I get for myself. That's like a bigger purchase. And we just like went on to the next conversation. And I think like an hour after we got off the phone, she messaged me and she was like, I have a question. And I was like, oh my God. Usually when someone just comes out like that and they're just like, I have a question or like, I have to talk to you. Like I immediately get anxiety. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is it? She literally said, let me get you that Lego you want. And I was like, girl, you guys are gonna LOL. But the reason why I'm wearing this like a little Valentine's Day outfit is because I knew this was arriving today and I knew that actually today was gonna be the day that I was gonna ask her to be my Valentine. So it all just kind of like worked out perfectly and that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to have like a little girly pop outfit for that. <laughs> Now, if your eyes didn't completely glaze over during that last portion of the video, what she's talking about is a Batman Lego set that allegedly this girl bought her that I think like costs like $400 or something. And if you've been following Amberlynn for some time that you know that if she puts any effort into her appearance when she's just filming at home that means that she has somebody new she's trying to like keep their attention so she starts like doing her hair and makeup a little bit more it's been done time and time again over the course of years it's just a thing that she does so 
it's not surprising to anyone that in the next video she puts out, she's showing up with her acrylics on. She has her makeup, her hair done. She's wearing lipstick, girl. She has a little eyeliner splotch underneath her eye. She's killing the game. And she has put on the happiest little personality. Uh, let's see what she has to say. So the third question is, what does your Valentine slash crush think of your size? So it seems like every single time I'm in a relationship, this question is like always a question that is asked, which I get it. I understand because it's a thought that I actually have internally subconsciously, consciously, I'm aware of the thought. Sometimes I'm not aware of the thought. It's a thought that is always there. So I can understand why other people also think it. But I can safely say in every relationship that I have ever been in, their answers are always the exact same. It's very, I don't see you for your size. I think you are beautiful. You have an amazing personality. And that's exactly what my Valentine said this year. She says that she doesn't see me for my size. I'm beautiful. We always have really good conversation, like no matter what we're talking about, she thinks I'm funny. Like she finds me physically attractive. Just my size isn't something that she sees. Just like kind of like a weird thing to say about somebody. It's kind of a really backhanded comment to make. You don't see her size, but yet her size is like what makes up a lot of the challenges of her life. So what do you mean? I don't care what size you are. If you're dating someone and they're like, I don't see you for your size. Pardon? It's just so wild. I also am questioning how she keeps saying that they're friends and that they like are like crushing on each other and they're valentines, but then keeps referring to her as like being in a relationship. And if she just means like a relationship in general, like a friendship, fine but in the context of everything she's saying she's making it sound like they're together when they're clearly not and trust me i get it it's it's a weird thing because it's like how are you do you not see my size like it's it's confusing to me and it's always the same answer from every partner i've been with i almost want to say maybe to an extent i understand because it's like when i'm in a relationship with someone I don't see their flaws. I don't see them for their flaw. I don't stop loving them for their flaw or whatever it may be or something that they're super insecure about. So it's like maybe in the same way that's the way they view me is like, I don't see you for that flaw. I don't see you for that thing that you're insecure about. And she keeps saying flaw singularly as if that's like her only issue, which because we know who we're talking about here. That just proves Amberlynn's biggest problem when it comes to dating, which is uh, she and the people that she dates refuse to see each other's flaws for some reason when that's exactly how you end up growing as a person and growing as a partner in relationships because you take your own flaws and you take the flaws of your ex you reflect on that you figure out what worked and what didn't and what flaws that you're able to handle and what flaws are deal breakers for you and then going forward when you date people and you meet people who have these similar qualities that you already know don't work for you guess what there's just you know you're not the right people for each other you can move on and find that right person for you and they can find their right person for them but unfortunately, Amberlynn seems to date as if she's a teenager who is running home to get on AOL Instant Messenger and uh, chat with her little bestie of the week. So now we are at the new video where she is going to talk about who Alexis is. I'm going to show you a clip from this video that has nothing to do with her and Alexis, but it's so bad like it's so cringy like you need to see it and then we'll discuss okay so oh, sorry hi okay so hi amberlynn in the future so what just happened here is i had to click off because the guy that i said hi to he complimented my hair asked me what i was doing tonight looked at the food in my cart which at that point i was about to check out so i had like everything in the cart and he was like invite me over and i'll cook for you i was like Oh my God. Obviously I said no, but just had to clarify that that's what happened there. That was weird. That's what happened there. That was weird. Okay, girl, 
this is why anybody who was ever like why are y'all being so mean to this girl like why are you making comments about her and then you just show them like one maybe two clips and then they just get it because it's just it's not normal behavior like number one that clip is like a millisecond long and you did not have to include it in the video and then you didn't you made up this like whole story that like can't be vetted it's just so dumb you're welcome for showing it to you the vlog continues and she like shows all the groceries that she got you know same old same old and then she gets into the alexis stuff and also something else that i want to talk about is i have a friend and she said it's totally fine if i talk about this and like say her name and stuff her name is alexis i have been friends with her since summertime and her and i have gotten really close like best friend territory like always talking on the phone we're always there for each other and before we continue i just want to point out that the timeline of things I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that her and wifey broke up on the 4th of July. So if they started talking in the summer, would then Alexis be the alleged other girl that Amberlynn was talking to that wifey like, you know, felt disrespected by Amberlynn for talking to her? Are you with me? Just stay with me. And a lot of people like assume that her and I were dating or are dating no that never happened her and i are literally just strictly friends but there's like a lot of rumors going around that we're dating i don't even know how y'all found her i we don't know but i personally wanted to clear this up just because i don't want you guys thinking that she's my valentine because it's not her and i know a lot of you are gonna be like oh my god this is just like amberlynn lying so we don't find out like who it is like no Alexis is literally just like my best friend. She has been there for me through a lot recently and I have been there for her through a lot and we just like bonded and became really good friends and we just vibe in that way. I would love to meet her one day in person. So there's a very good chance that they are just friends, right? I would even go as far as to say like they have been friends up until this point because when I first heard about Alexis, which was like many months ago she was actually in a relationship in fact i saw that alexis posted a meme that somebody had made showing amber lynn's like reaction when alexis made herself single on facebook i don't know the whole timeline on when alexis broke up with her girlfriend but if amber lynn is saying they start talking in september I wouldn't be shocked to find out that Alexis and her ex broke up in September as well. So what am I trying to say? I guess my theory about all of it is Alexis has been this the girl in the picture the entire time. Amberlynn is continuing to uh, lie to her audience and say that she is somebody completely separate from this other girl, her Valentine, that she's been talking to. This isn't Amberlynn's first time lying. She, her audience has zero trust in her. I have zero trust in her. So that is my theory. Um, I'm going to have to pass that off to y'all. Speaking of my Valentine, um, a lot of people are like, oh my God, is she like moving too quick? No, this is actually just something new that I decided to tell you guys about. I have been talking to her for almost six months now. So we've been in each other's lives for half of a year. This is like very much behind the scenes and I just wanted to like share it with you guys because I was like so happy and she said I could and I don't know. From what I can see of this girl's online presence, it seems that she is a little spicy um, and I personally welcome her to Girl World. I think that we desperately need other supporting characters in Amberlynn's vlogs. Her being the only person on camera for years now it's just not, it's not sustainable. Okay, girl. So we need Alexis on camera. It's going to spice up your videos. You're going to get far more views. So here is your formal invitation. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what do you think? You know, if there's anything that you have wanted to say about the situation and Amberlynn has blocked you, go ahead, put it in my comment section. I got you. On a personal note, now that I'm feeling better, I am going to be recording this video that while I've been sick, I've been scripting. Um, it has something to do with 
old Disney Channel stars starting podcasts. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but I'm pretty excited about this video. It should be up sometime this week. Um, it just depends on how much time it takes to edit it because it is kind of a bigger project, but that is what I will be working on. And so keep your eyes out for that. And uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys.